weeks, there will be no shortage of messages celebrating the end of 2020, and for good reason. Far too many people have carried the burdens of grief, anxiety, and uncertainty during this pandemic. And our hope for you and your family um, is that you are able to find comfort and peace this holiday season. But 2020 brought gifts too. And for us at the Mastery School of Hawken, the biggest and the best gift was you, our founding class students and families. And someday when 2020 is a distant memory and the answer to a trivia question, we hope you are also able to recall some of the exhilaration and magic that we experienced together as we launched our brand new school. So the founding team and I wanted to share a few parting thoughts as we think back on 2020 and look forward to 2021. Can't wait to see you again real soon. Wow. Yay. Okay. Okay, here we are. I can edit whatever I want. Hi, MSH people. <laughs> well, they're, they're right there. Do you remember on the very first day? And they all sat with their masks on in the rows underneath this tent and were silent. And I think that in my interactions with the Mastery School, that was the last day that I've seen them all silent. Yeah. It was a slightly terrifying moment to me. <laughs> like, yeah. And, oh, and like yeah. a day later, that was like never again. My favorite memory of the Mastery School is when we um, had our, uh, you know, first like opening community day and just seeing like all 33 students sitting out there on the green, like that was just absolutely amazing. I'm just most grateful for the students for like showing up, already doing this really weird thing of starting a totally new school with people that they did not know and then really rolling with the punches. I'm grateful for you know, being part of, of a new school, new, new community, um, new students. Like, I'm grateful for giving the opportunity to grow. I think I'm really grateful that we had, you know, so much of our semester in person. Um, so I'm really grateful for all of the, the energy that people were able to lend me <laughs> uh, during that time. And I think lend each other. Uh, and I'm grateful to be a part of a, a, a community that's really trying to make some real change in terms of what education looks like. And then hopefully, um, if we do our jobs right, um, uh, to make a uh, make an investment on the kind of world I think we all want to live in, uh, where people from the broadest range of backgrounds, you know, uh, can come together and build something beautiful uh, and build, it, build the kind of world that I think we need. So after everything that the students have done this year, what are you most proud of? Right, one sec, let me put on a sweater. Oh. Terry, you can edit this out. Uh, very nice. This is definitely my favorite Christmas sweater I own. I think the thing that I'm most proud of is the enthusiasm and sort of the way that they've internalized valuing some of the things we did in class because so many students want to keep doing it over break, right? They, they're like, no, well, I'm not done with my story. Yeah. In a traditional school, that would be it. You'd be like, well, the course is over, you move on. And here it's like, well, no, what, do, what would you like to be next? And I like that. I'm most proud of how they use their voices about how they use their voices to connect with their peers, uh, to engage their world, uh, to uh, to share uh, who they are with others. I think the thing that I'm most proud of is the community that both our students uh, and faculty have created this semester. I would say the opening day was pretty fun, right? It's been, people have been working on this for a long time and to see all the faculty and Julia and Scott and everybody see a dream become a reality is, is special. There's a lot that I'm feeling very proud of. Um, that's my dog. The way that I felt when we were doing our end of the semester one-on-one -on -one check ins and, and to hear each of them thinking through their journey over the course of a few months and how they personally saw themselves grow. Um, and to be able to see that growth and then hear it come from their frame of reference um, that made me really proud of them. Like if the thing that comes out of our school is that we have a body of humans who really understand what it means to have each other's back as you're working towards a common goal, um, then I think that we've done something well. It's just incredible to have that sense of community, to have them build it, feel it, support it, and so it makes me really proud to work in this place. I'm most proud of their like 
their reflection um, you know, and, and having those conversations with them was just really amazing in like how, how thoughtful they are. I truly believe that each student is able to bring a, kind of their full self. So once we log off of Zoom on Friday, I'm most excited to continue to practice Sade's smooth operator on bass. If you, if you drive by and you see me in my pajamas outside, just stop. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Disconnecting, so like not being on Zoom. Truly, I'm just looking forward to laying on my couch and not thinking about deadlines and other people. Yeah. Oh, very good. Um, I'm most excited to Sleep in. I think I'm gonna do some like uh, some sword fighting training with my son over break. You know, when I you know actually spend like more time with the kids, um, you know, meaningful time, not like trying to get stuff done at home. <laughs> uh, I want to be really intentional about Kwanzaa in a different way this year. I am in a house with my grandparents, and I'm going to be for the holiday, and that has not happened in a very long time. So I am, I've taken it upon myself to um, reminisce with them and to dig out pictures and photos. And um, I'm not even sure what they're called, but they're these like reels of, of the way that they used to watch videos. <laughs> and to just hear the stories of my grandparents' life and to spend some, some really uh, high quality time with them. I'm really excited for wrapping Christmas presents. I get like really into wrapping the presents. Like I really like it. I like making them all pretty. It's, it's like my thing in the family. Looking forward to family time. Like my little immediate family, it's actually been shockingly pleasant. I'm also really hoping that, um, I haven't asked her yet, but I'm hoping that my grandma will make cookies with me. My, I have some really, really great cookie recipes from my grandma that I like to make every year. I am most excited to eat up all of the sugar cookies that exist. I'm honestly kind of excited to clean my house. I feel like my house has not been nearly as clean as I would hope to have <laughs> kept it. Yeah, um, what's behind this computer is something that no one wants to see. <laughs> It's going to be a long time until we are together again as a Mastery School community. Um, and I'm really excited for that moment. I already miss everybody. I'm going to really miss them <laughs> by the time that moment comes. So I'm really looking forward to that first gathering when we come back together after intensives. I am most looking forward to the macro talking to strangers. It's going to be really fun and cool. We're going to get into stuff. But the thing that I'm really interested in is I've never taught a group of students where it's their second macro. So we can just kick it up to the next level. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I think that's really cool. And also really excited to have more consistent, um, sustained kind of chunks of time with students next semester, micros, um, and get a chance to really see them start to grow. I really think that next semester I'm gonna see some students like really take off. So I'm really about that. I am so excited to support the building of our next class. It's been amazing to meet candidates and be involved in this process and just start to see what makes kids tick and why the Mastery School would be such a wonderful home for them for their high school years. And I know that our founding class, while possessive of their title, because they've created such incredible community that they will be able to welcome the next round of you know, space for everyone and so I can't wait to fall in love with a whole new class and then have the founding class feel that way too and watch us grow. Being a part of this community gives me lots to be grateful for um, and I just I'm, I'm ready for more. I'm ready for more. So whatever holidays you might be celebrating in this season whether it's uh, Christmas, whether it's Hanukkah, whether it's Kwanzaa, uh, whatever you might be celebrating, whether, whether it's Three Kings Day, um, uh, we hope that you have a really wonderful and restful and joy-filled uh, season. Uh, take care. Bye, everybody. Have a great break. Grocery store sheet cake. It's so good. It's just delicious. I think it's so good. This is fun. You're fun. It's goodbye, everybody. Um, I'm talking to you. Okay. And Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. <laughs> And scene. Okay, you're welcome, Terry. <laughs> I love this. I know. <laughs> Every day?